When you go to showcase the STEM career of your choice, you need to do a few different things. First, you need to choose your product. How are you going to share this exciting information you have learned about your career? Are you going to make a Prezi, an iMovie, a slides presentation? What are you gonna do? Be creative. The requirements, what do you need to include? You can see that those are right here in your directions. You have to have the name of the career um, and not the career cluster. You are researching an actual career. So you're not looking up, you know, agriculture or um, engineering, okay? You would be looking at mechanical engineering. So a very specific career, a job you could go apply for, be paid to do. You need to include information on education and experience, and you need to talk about both. They mean different things. Education is something where you get a certificate or a degree. Experience is on-the-job training. How much practical experience or knowledge do you have to have? Okay, the next section that you need to have talks about skills that you need. And notice that it mentions content skills and other skills. So if I'm going to be a doctor, my content skills would be I know things about the human body, I understand science, I know how germs work. Okay, those are all content specific skills. But if I'm gonna be a physician, I also need to be able to talk to people and explain things in a way that they can understand. Okay, so people skills would be one of those other skills. It's not something that's necessarily content specific, but you have to know how to do it. All right, for job outlook, you need to go down to the bottom section where it talks about information that you're going to need to complete your final project and you wanna look at this job outlook section, okay? Job outlook is highlighted in green. What does the career look like in Ohio, in the United States? Are we going to need more of this career or are there too many already? So the way that they tell you that is with either a positive or negative number, a percentage, okay? So if there is a growth rate of negative 3.2, that means that we need 3.2% fewer people in that career than we did X number of years ago. If the growth rate is 5.7%, it means that job is growing and we will need 5.7 more people in that career than we have now. So you're gonna have to Google, literally just Google, job outlook with the name of your career. Okay, so mine is just giving me some, so I'm just gonna pick one. Job outlook physical therapist. The word for is not required. It's not going to search for that word anyway, but it's auto completing it for me, so I just went with that. All right, the pop-up section is not necessarily the best idea. Notice that this section though um, actually quotes a source the Occupational Outlook Handbook by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Well, then I would say if they're quoting it, that would be a better place to look. And oh, look here, BLS, Bureau of Labor Statistics, .gov. If it's a .gov website, you know it's reliable. You're going to go here and look for job outlook percentage. Okay, that's what you're looking for. Now this is for the United States. Okay, see United States Department of Labor. If I need to find that information for Ohio, I'm going to have to add the word Ohio after my search. All right, so this is telling me, again, United States. I don't want United States. BLS, that's United States. BLS, that's United States. So you're going to have to go until you get something like this. 2018 Ohio Job Outlook. 
This is where you need to know a very specific skill when you are searching. This is a PDF, which means it is a document. It is not a website, all right? So I need to search this document because if you look through here, I don't really think that you guys are going to want to read all of the information in here to try to find physical therapists, right? Okay, so I'm gonna hold down the command key and then I'm gonna push the letter F and I will get this search box pop up. In that search box, I am going to type in physical therapist, look, it's already telling me I have six results, which is good enough. Okay, physical therapist, I'm gonna look over, change in employment right here, 14%. That means this career is increasing at a rate of 14%. That's very good. Okay, so for Ohio, I would use 14%. Okay, so back to my directions. What else do I need to know? Salary. I need to have a starting salary, a career high salary, and a median salary. Okay. So again, I'm going to go back to handy dandy Google and I'm going to search for um, electrical engineer salary. Some of this information you can actually find in Ohio means jobs. Okay, so payscale.com, probably not the best place to look. Glassdoor.com, again, who? BLS.gov, well hey, there's a Bureau of Labor Statistics site again. I'm gonna start there if I can't find what I need in Ohio means jobs, which you actually probably can. Okay, so I'm looking for electrical engineers, the median annual wage for an electrical engineer is $93,010. The career high is $146,820 and the starting or the low would be $59,240. Okay. So I would want the 10% as my starting or low. Um, your median is going to be your average salary and your career high is going to be your 90%. All right, I'm gonna go back to my directions. What do you do on a daily basis in this job? You can find this in Ohio Means Jobs. Courses at Northmont High School, you should have already done this for your academic pathway plan. If you changed your career, you will have to go back and look at this again. I put the link down here for you just in case you changed careers and wanted to look at something different. You need to tell me two different universities or colleges I can study at to either advance me in this field if it's not necessarily something that requires a degree, but how could I get further? most of the things that you're looking for are going to require a degree. The university or college that you give me must offer your major. Just like you uh, searched for here, right down here, to find the program of study. You're going to look for program of study for and type in your career, okay? Program of study nursing. Okay, and this one's actually easy. I probably shouldn't have done this one because it is a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Okay, so I need to find a school that has a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. I can use um, College Matchmaker to see who has that career. All right, college matchmakers right here, big future college search is what you want.
and there's a section where you can go in and actually enter your major and you need to do that to find colleges. So right here where it says majors and learning environment, you want to click on that and it's going to ask you family of majors. Um, I was looking at nursing, so that would be under health and medicine. Specific major then you can look. Okay, now see all these different things that were in here. If I don't know what I want, um, I may not know this. Okay, so I want to study to be a registered nurse. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, now I can see that I have 1,722 results. That would be a few more than you need. So this is where you can kind of play around with it. You can talk about the type of school you want to go to. You're going to want to make sure you're at a four-year university for something like nursing. You can change the size of your college. You can see just clicking on the four-year university took me down to 912. Um, I want to go to a co-ed school because I want both women and men there. Okay, that got rid of 12 schools. Um, let's say I know I want to go to school on the West Coast. So I'm going to say I want to be in the West part of the country. Okay, that just got rid of almost 800 schools. Okay, so I can go through and change this and do what I want and then Right here, you can close and see results, and then whatever's left, you'll be able to see, and you can look through them. So I can scroll through and see what's left and what I want to do. All right, what area of STEM does this fall under? Pretty much every career falls into science, technology, engineering, or math some way, somehow. If you can't figure out how, you need to come and talk to me. And the last thing is all up to you. Why does this career interest you? If you have trouble, you need to come see me. But the first thing I'm going to ask you is did you read the directions and did you watch the video?